What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of The Driving Professor. For those of you who are actually new to the channel, I am your host, Rashid White, and I'm a professional driver. I drive buses uh, in New York City, and I teach you defensive driving strategies that'll save you time, money, uh, personal injury, and actually your life there, most importantly, your life. All right, so this actually comes from us from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and actually teaches us the importance of actually wearing seatbelts and actually getting the big picture. As I always emphasize this over it, and over and over again. And, and let's look at this video here. Let's get into this. Not waste any time. Bus driver was tossed with a windshield during a crash on Central Avenue. Action 7 News was the first to show you video from inside that bus. Reporter Megan Cruz spoke to ABC Right today. He says there are lessons to be learned. The video is frightening. A city bus getting blocked. All right, so you can actually see him already initially distracted already. He's messing around with something. He's going through the intersection and he's not actually paying attention, so. A city bus then broadsided by another vehicle, the driver thrown from his seat yeah. and through the shattered windshield. Side 7 captured the crash from the air. It happened last Friday. Albuquerque police say this silver truck ran a red light on Central Avenue, striking the bus, which was heading south on Unser. If you watch the surveillance video... All right, so as you can see right over here, he's driving, and when you go through the... First of all, the reason why you actually want to have your seatbelt on is because just in case like this... If you do get hit, you get thrown out of the seat, then you actually lose control of the bus. I told the story on this channel, I believe, about a year and a half ago. I used to be an over-the-road truck, uh, truck driver. I was in a parking lot. I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. I was only doing like five miles an hour. I ran over a tree stump, and I got my big, big self. I was like 200 and I think about 25 pounds. Picked me up and threw me right out of the seat, man. And I lost control of the truck uh lucky thing there was somebody right next to me to actually pull up the icc so there wasn't any you know any real damage there that was actually done but in this case there could be people actually walking and crossing this intersection or that's on the sidewalk children in a sense though so you actually want to be able to um you know be able to maintain the vehicle over there and Oh, what else, what else, what else, what else? You don't want to actually get thrown through the windshield or anything like that, man, you know? And and also, they can actually file charges on you. You're a professional driver here, so you're going to be held to the highest standard actually possible, you know, equivalent to a airplane pilot, in a sense, though. From the bus again closely, you see the truck at the time of the impact. It was a, a crash that was unavoidable. If you take a look at the video, there was nothing he could have done to prevent that crash. All right, that's not true. And I think that's the guy's union rep. <laughs> He's trying, you know, trying to make the guy look good. But no, this 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 crash, and we don't look at, at it, you know, in the profession. This is what I'm actually trying to teach over here. We're not looking at who's at fault. We're actually looking at whether they, you know, these accidents can be prevented or not. And again, you can have somewhere to go, and now this is going to take up your whole day or your whole night right here. So yes, these accidents, this is actually a preventable accident here. Officials say surprisingly, neither of the drivers were seriously injured. Albuquerque police did not pick up the truck driver. Investigators believe neither alcohol wow. nor drugs were factors in this crash. Despite doing other things behind the wheel, a spokesperson for ABQ Ride says... It didn't appear to me that he was distracted. However, he says he was thrown through the windshield because he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. He could face some sort of uh, discipline for that. But aside from this crash... He is an outstanding driver and outstanding employee. City officials say this video will now be shown to all the... And the fact that he's actually not paying attention is what really kind of made this really bad. Yeah, you know, if he would have known, let's say he would have known he would have got hit, he would at least had his foot on the brake, and and the bus would have never ricocheted out of control like this. 
Let me know what you actually think in the comment section when it comes to this. Is it the actual bus driver? Whether it's the actual car's fault? Uh, is it the, can the bus driver prevent this type of accident? Remember, we're here to prevent accidents. We don't look at who's at fault. Now, this truck, the guy in the pickup truck is certainly at fault. But uh, if he wasn't distracted, the bus driver here, uh, this accident could have been prevented. I mean, I saw it coming from, you know, like, let's say about one, about 25, 30 something feet. It's not like it's, uh, you know, like there's a building around the corner and there's vehicles and then that just happens. You have like a big wide open space there and he should have been able to actually avoid this crash right here. Most definitely. All right. So, um, like the video, definitely comment, subscribe, and certainly share this video. And you share the universe, certainly shares back with you. Peace.